a blessed day and welcome. This morning we'll be meditating on the book of Ephesians, chapter 5 and verse 15. So be careful how you live. Don't live like fools, but like those who are wise. In context, this verse is part of Paul's letter to the Ephesians, where he urges Christians to live in a way that reflects their new life in Christ. When a person is saved, God gives the individual enough wisdom to be fully responsible for his or her actions. This morning, we learn that those who are born of the Spirit are wise. Some might argue, how can a new Christian walk in wisdom? Doesn't it take years to become wise? As we meditate upon the verse, it affirms that we are already wise and therefore God is calling us to use the wisdom bestowed to live with care, contrasting it with the foolishness and carelessness that characterized our former way of life. This wisdom is not merely about intellectual knowledge but about making decisions that align with God's will and reflect his values. Dr. J.B. Gambrell tells an amusing story from General Stonewall Jackson's famous valley campaign. Jackson's army found itself on one side of a river when it needed to be on the other side. After telling his engineers to plan and build a bridge so that the army could cross, he called his wagon master to tell him that it was urgent. The wagon train crossed the river as soon as possible. The wagon master started gathering all the logs, rocks and fence rails he could find and built a bridge. Long before daylight, General Jackson was told by his wagon master all the wagons and artillery had crossed the river. At that moment, General Jackson asked, where are the engineers and what are they doing? The wagon master's only reply was that they were in their tent drawing up plans for a bridge. The application of this verse in daily life involves being intentional and thoughtful about our actions. It calls for a reflective and discerning approach to see how we can conduct ourselves, ensuring that our behavior is consistent with our faith. This means avoiding actions that are frivolous or harmful and instead pursuing what is good, edifying and in line with God's teaching. Practically, it involves seeking God's guidance through prayer and scripture and making decisions that honor Him while being mindful of the impact our actions have on others. Let us pray. Lord, grant me the wisdom to live responsibly and in alignment with your will. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Shalom. Maranatha.